This is the Peace Valley. It's one of the most spectacular and agriculturally productive regions in Canada. The British Columbian government, through BC Hydro, planned to spend $9 billion to dam the Peace River to provide power for LNG in the tar sands. They plan on flooding hundreds of archaeological sites and thousands of hectares of prime farmland. It would also destroy land which is being used for hunting, fishing and collecting medicinal plants, which is a direct contravention of Treaty 8. West Moberly and Prophet River First Nations have launched strategic legal actions to protect both their treaty rights and this incredible land and water. It's not right for the Treaty 8 nations to have to do this on their own. We all benefit from the outcome, so we all need to grab a paddle and be in there together. This year, on July 9th, Treaty 8 First Nations are inviting everyone to join in. You can show your support by heading to Northeastern BC for the Paddle for the Peace. Can't make it? Well, you can also participate by hosting and attending solidarity events around the country. I'm going to grab a paddle because flooding farmland to produce fossil fuels is crazy. If we had $9 billion, we could put solar panels on every building in BC. There are three ways to get involved. Go to nosightseed.com and donate to Treaty 8's legal fund. This is our best chance to stop the dam. Or go online and set up a fundraiser and invite your friends and family to contribute. You can also organize or attend an event. People are planning barbecues, kayak flotillas, concerts, house parties and film screenings. You can sign up as an event host on our website. Now is the time for each of us to come together and put reconciliation into action. Let's grab a paddle and stand with First Nations against Sightsee. Now I am so far from where I'm from I got so much farther to go That I could throw a boat down in the water Said from north to south, it's really all the same. It's like one big river being fed by the rain. And there's some people who know it because they're the ones saying that they die for the land and you know they ain't playing. And I'll be right there beside them, standing so tall that even Harvard can't miss this proverbial wall.